Welcome back to 4K Films Canada. It's been quite a while since I did a video, so thank you and welcome back to the channel for coming here today. Uh, I have a bit of a special one. It is my Black Friday Vinegar Syndrome unboxing. I or kind of already unboxed it because in there they used to start the uh, bubble, bubble wrap still. I need to use the box for wrapping gifts, so I kind of had to use that and open that box up. But I will be opening everything up and uh, showing you all everything that comes in it, all the reversible slip co re reversible covers if that came with that. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So the first title I picked up, I'll show off here, is East and Hustle. This is a Canadian international picture, I believe it is. Uh, where is that? It'll focus, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's not focus, it says, but yeah, anyways. So it's a Canadian film, I believe it's was Toronto is filmed in. I'm not, I don't know much about it, but I believe it was Toronto. But it's 4K, I'd, and as a Canadian, I do want to support Canadian films and filmmakers, so I definitely wanted to pick this one up. I don't know anything about it really, I believe it's in Toronto though. Like I said, but yeah, 4K. The subcover did come with a bit of a something on it in this corner here. A bit of a, can't really see it, but a bit of a scratch there. But let's see, let's open this up and see what the inside looks like. Uh, definitely, I'm excited to check this out. One of my professors in college has actually made a film in Toronto. But for the life of me, I can't remember what it was called. But it's about like these giant rats in the sewers. And I always wanted to check it out. And I think it would be perfect for vinegar syndrome. But I had no idea what it was called. And uh, it kind of sucks. But yeah, inside, we have a little booklet here, which is kind of nice. I think it's only like a little essay or whatever inside. You know, um, it's only about how many pages is it? Five or six pages. So, it's more information on the back, some specs, and stuff like that. Why is it so dark in here? I don't know. Yeah, it comes with the 4K and the Blu ray, though, which is nice touch. And let's see if it has reversible slip cut. This cover art. Oh, it does. It does. And that is beautiful. Holy shit. There's the reversible cover art. It's actually a really nice cover art as well. Definitely need to get some light in here. It's so freaking dark for whatever reason. I kind of reorganized my place a bit so a different filming location than it used to be. So I have to figure out the lighting situation again, I guess. But yeah, this is a beautiful release. Definitely excited to check it out. And hopefully Canadian International Pictures will do more 4Ks because I'll definitely keep supporting them. The next one I did, I had picked up was Freeway. I waited for the sale, went down to 25 bucks. 25 bucks ish. So, US. But I still wanted to get this eventually, and it still had a slip cover. So, I definitely want, happy I got it finally. Um, there's the front and the back. Man, it's dark as fuck. This has been this came out last year, I believe, in the fall, maybe in November actually. I don't know. My first it came out, but my first Ritter syndrome I bought was last year, end of the year, in November, which was uh, Roadhouse. That's the first Ritter syndrome I ever bought. So there's the inside. We had the Blu-ray and the 4K, and I believe it has reversible cover art. It is the original, which is a totally different, totally different than the Vinegar Syndrome artwork, which I do like the Vinegar Syndrome better. But and there is the original in the back. It's just black and a nice blue spine there for you. But yeah, definitely excited to check this out. I do enjoy Reese Weatherspoon. I forget who else is in this though. Reese Witherspoon, I do enjoy her. 
for the most part. So definitely excited to check that out for the first time and can never beat vinegar syndrome slips. Oh my God, they're nice for sure. And then of course we had to pick up the second one to go with the first. And again, I had never watched the first one or second one of these movies. I'm definitely excited to check them out for sure. There's the bag, some details. It's kind of hard to read. I'm sorry, guys. It's so dark. I'll definitely fix that for my next video. I have no idea why it's so dark. Um, here we go. Same artwork again. And we have the disc inside. 4K and Blu ray. It has that creepy lady on the Blu ray and the same two people at the front on the 4K. And we got the reversible cover Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right, too. That's the one girl from Orange and New Blacks in it, I think. That's right, too. I forgot. I was watching mid level media unbox it. I forgot. That's her when she was younger. Girl from Black, uh, Orange is the New Black, which is a good TV show, I think. So, and that's the second one. Definitely be checking those out hopefully soon. I do kind of have some plans for the next next year's uh, themed month. I'm trying to try and change it up a bit. So I'm definitely excited to watch those in one of my themes month. The next one we have is Extrasense. Extrasense. Oh my god, what the fuck did I just say? Anyways, David Carnberg, a Canadian filmmaker, so I definitely had to support this release. I don't know if this film is Canadian though, or is it American at this point in his career? I'm not sure. But I definitely had to support it either way. The beautiful slipcover. And I read this, I read the, like the synopsis, and it looks, sounds very different and unique of a film. I like the skin on the belly button and everything. Pretty kind of gross. Got a nice, decent sized booklet here. Um, William Defoe is in it, so that's a reason in itself to check it out for sure. But yeah, definitely excited to check this out. And we'll open this one up as well. Come on, get in there. There you go. But oh, don't get stuck on the last corner, you douche. pile there all right we'll open this up it has the blu-ray and the 4k like usual for vinegar syndrome releases and then we will have the reversible cover which is the same belly button skin texture looking thing i'm just kind of gross i'll probably change it back to the other one but yeah there's the belly button kind of hard to see but and there's some of the information there as well. But yeah, definitely interesting. I've never seen this one. I haven't seen a lot of his movies, to be honest. But I do like The Fly a lot, and I do like uh, Crash as well. I hope that gets a 4K. And can, it has one overseas of an era video, but I hope North America will get one as well, because the box set of the aero video box that is sold out so air print so hopefully you can get a canadian release of that and finally we have daryl which i am not going to unbox this one in this video because i have another video plan where i plan to unbox it but i did get daryl as well vsu that's what kind of got me into the vinegar syndrome catalog of films was the vsu line I do really love this line from Vinegar Syndrome. But yeah, I stay tuned for the unboxing. I will be unboxing all seven VSUs in that video. One, I already, 
or opened one already, which is Roadhouse with the rest, which is still sealed. So stay tuned for that video, and I'll unbox Daryl in that video. So stay tuned, and uh, thank you for watching. I hope you got like my pickups for November this year. I didn't want to get the Prophecy 1 through 3 trilogy, but it's a bit too much still. So hopefully it doesn't sell out and we'll go down a little bit in price on a sale sometime. But hopefully, yeah, I do want to pick that up eventually as well. Yeah, but again, thank you again and have a great night. Thank you for watching.